Good evening. This is Edward, SonsOfGod.com. It's Sunday evening, September 30th, 2012. We've been into a, a word the last several days. I had hoped that we would have posted it by now, but it's still something in the works concerning uh, this whole realm of spirit that we're involved with as sons. Uh, I know that the word is going to be very freeing, um, but uh, it's, it's probably still a few days before we have this thing, I think, really nailed down in the spirit. Um, there's never a time that we bring any word out of uh, just general uh, knowledge, general research, or, uh, or otherwise. Any and every word that we've brought has been born out of what we're living and what we're experiencing. Otherwise, it really wouldn't be much of a living word uh, if that was not the case. So I know that what's coming right now is is going to be a, a huge, huge change in our paradigm uh, by virtue of an impartation. So we'll continue to stay the course until this word is finished within us. But what I'd like to do tonight is just send a word out to the... I would call it the gut fighters of the kingdom. And it's interesting, I haven't really looked up Webster's definition of a gut fighter, but you can imagine uh, how intense uh, and, and what it must be. And I've always thought, uh, it's, it's been a term that's been used over the years uh, when in certain circles that we've been around or otherwise, uh, and having to do with just the intensity of the conflict that we uh, are partaking of, and the resolve and drive of our of, of our spirit, uh, and that's a term that we're going to have to really dig into on this next word. But the resolve and drive of our soul um, to really um, drive deep in the uh, execution of what God is bringing forth during this time with respect to the judgments, with respect to the hand of the enemy. And so I, Anne and I just want to send a word of encouragement out because there are often times uh, we can feel alienated uh, even though we are one in the Spirit and one with Christ. Um, the illusion can come through rather strong and you can feel like you're out in left field uh, trying to you know duke it out and that is such an illusion uh, that uh, the enemy uh, throws out uh, amongst other things you know he's he's known as the accuser of the brethren and um, and I know that he stands in accusing uh, the sons we're not talking about just the religious world or or the religious world we're talking about the sons and so I know there is that level of conflict that all of us face, where the accuser is constantly l looking to intimidate, demean, uh, or to just get you to just throw in the towel and say, you know what, I've stumbled again. Uh, how can I be pleasing to the Lord? And yet the word says, you know, a righteous man stumbles 70 times 7 and the Lord upholds him. And that's very much uh, how we live and how we walk as his sons. Do we stumble? Absolutely, we, we stumble every day and we will continue to until the soul is really removed out of the equation because uh, that's just the way it is. Um, you know, the, 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 this is the, the, the struggle that we have with the, the spirit and the soul. It's a, a very real uh, thing that we wrestle with. And the enemy uh, uses the realm of the soul to assault the sons to uh, in many ways to try and just get them to fold in or to yield to um, the illusion and generally the illusion uh, doesn't really have any holding ground unless it grabs an area within your emotions um, and if you begin to accept it in your emotions then uh, then you've got a little bit of a battle to, to, to work through. So it's, it has been interesting the last several days um, in this last week um, as we've seen uh, how the enemy has uh, tried to come in and uh, 
just really uh, uh, deter the drive of the suns to get uh, through this transition which we're in. Um, but the one thing that's so important is that we've got to be so careful not to judge by what we see or by what we feel. Um, it's like I was telling Anne the other day, I said it's complicated. Uh, and it's complicated because we are not uh, a single dimensional being. We don't have our existence on this level only. And so what you see is what you get. Uh, it's not the case at all. Uh, we're sons begotten of the Spirit of Christ sent into the earth during this time. We are partaking of the conflict of the ages, even though we're not aware of it like we need to be. But we're so much a part of it. And I know that this transition, as we get through this transition, we will come into an awareness of how much we are doing in our spirit and how much we are carrying. Uh, none of us realize how much we carry. You don't realize how much conflict, how much battle you carry because you've set yourself like Christ as flint. You know, you will not be deterred to go off on this tangent or that tangent. There's only one thing that we're doing, and that's bringing in the kingdom. Uh, I know that we get sidetracked constantly, and there's so many things that come in to pull us off on different directions, but there's only one thing that we're doing. We're bringing in the kingdom, and we're bringing it in right now. And so our lives are overlaid with various levels of reality. Um, and we can only grasp at just uh, a limited understanding of, of, of just really what this involves. Uh, because, you know, as we've said many times in the book, you know, in the book of John it says, in my Father's house are many dwelling places, many levels. Um, there are so many levels that we're involved with. Um, and sometimes you'll get signs, uh, you know, for example, Ann and I took a drive this morning up north, and as we left one area, went to another area that has somewhat of an entrenchment of, um, of uh, you know, of, of darkness. Uh, we immediately began to get uh, signs of direct assault, which come in your heart. Um, you know, if the enemy would have his way, you know, you'd die on the spot. But then, of course, that's not what's happening. But we would pick these signs up and feel it, and then we knew the the, the battle was. We were we were we were heading into the battle, and uh, and so that was uh, pretty much the course of the day, in and out of conflict. And so you can say, well, Edward, I know that's true. Um, I feel the conflict. I, uh, we're going through things. Uh, you know, this person, that person, issues and things come up. And the difficulty is to look at it and say, as much as these things are coming up, dictating, well, there's conflict here, conflict here, there seems to be an issue here, I'm having to deal with this problem, I have to jump over this hoop. None of it is really what's happening. Uh, it's leaves and branches, it's manifestations on this plane of something happening on a different level that's much deeper. And that's why we're travailing and groaning to get out of this level of unawareness uh, into a level of such clarity in the spirit that we're able to rightly discern and rightly know. Uh, because like I said just a few minutes ago, it's, uh, it's complex. Things with God's sons are not black and white. Um, and so you have to be very careful not to judge yourself, not to draw a conclusion, because we don't understand how much of what we live in is illusion. And I can tell you right now, you know, we've read, read, we've read it, I've said it, we still don't understand. But it's an experience that is deepening, and it will deepen, of how much we, we walk in a realm of illusion, how much all of this around you is illusion. It's very hard for us to understand it because we're so used to moving on this level of existence and awareness and you know you, you touch this and it's real and so we draw conclusions but I'm here to say it's not that's not the case 
the real realm of reality is in the realm of spirit, where everything is really unfolding. And so, thus we travail, thus we groan, to get through this transition into a level of knowing, of rightly discerning, of understanding. And, 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 and in the process of all this, we're, we're you know, constantly buffeted in our soul, buffeted in our body. I know Paul experienced that struggle when he says, I do the things I would not. And, you know, and, 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 and it was very difficult as he had to, you know, deal with these things. And I know that um, it is the same for us. Uh, and I know that we grieve uh, over the fact that we may not do what we feel we should be doing or pleasing the Lord in, in, in a manner that we, we feel we should. But I'm just here to say that, you know, we need to back off from drawing any kind of conclusion. And if anything, there's only one truth, and the fact is that you are pleasing. I am pleasing to the Lord. We are a, a sweet savor of, of incense going up to His throne. We are a living worship. What we are, as we live and walk and eat and breathe, is a worship, because it's what exudes out of our spirits. It's a preconditioning that we've already determined. You know, this is how we're going to walk. We're going to give ourselves and no matter how much we might feel like a yo-yo at times the truth is you are given your life is surrendered to the Lord and as such everything about you is a worship to him you're living worship to the Lord and so consequently we have to be so careful not to judge ourselves not to look at this temporal passing scene and draw any level of uh, a conclusion as to its reality or its substance, because it's not. So I loose this transition to even hasten. We need to get to the other side of this transition. Uh, and I know that the, this transition involves the letting go of the soul, the dying out of the soul, the regeneration of the soul, because the soul is not going to inherit the kingdom, at least not this soul, uh, in its unregenerated form. So I loose for us just a week of, uh, of intensity, a week of focus, uh, a week of taking dominion. Uh, you should get the signs on the bottom of your feet as you walk out the kingdom, you walk out the land, possessing the, the land, that, that's a sign. Um, we'll continue to look to the Lord for this word that's coming about spirit. Um, but I bless, I bless all of you uh, because it's so interesting that the majority of those that we have communication with don't really have a, a, a support system. It's not really like we're part of churches or groups. Uh, there's very, very few. Uh, that are part of any sort of group that really are tracking on any of this. Uh, usually it's the Lord taking one from here and one from there. And so um, it can feel a little bit disconnected. But you know what? Our oneness is in the Spirit. And our oneness is in His presence. And Anne and I send our blessing to you. And I just declare, let this be a week that we take a prey. Let this be a week that we take tremendous ground in the spirit and that the, the, the spirits that have set themselves against the release of the, su the sons shall be removed. That which continues to work in darkness shall be exposed to the light. And I declare it for this week. We expose that which is being done behind closed doors. We expose that which is hidden behind our back that we're still not able to get a handle on. We expose it to the light so it becomes obvious to us. We begin to see it and understand it. So we send our love and our blessings. Amen.